Hi guys, it's Katz. Uh, for this week's forecast, I'm doing two parts. This, this one right here right now is going to be for the psychics, empaths, mediums, sensitives, uh, Reiki healers, every light workers all around the world. Okay. We have a, and then we will have a part two, which will be for everybody else who's just coasting along and not being as affected as we are right now. So if you are one of those people, now feel free to watch this one and maybe, you know, you might pick up some, some things that are affecting you. So don't blow this video off to give it a chance and see if it resonates with you. Okay. On that note. We had such a wonderful week last week with the good energy and all the stuff. We're all fly. Everybody was upbeat, positive. We're like, go, go, go. And then Saturday came. Kaboom. I'm, I've now, I've been actually talking to other psychics and mediums and healers, and they're going down physically. Physical issues coming out of the blue, including myself. I had something happen too and took me out. Uh, lethargy tired, um, aches and pains out of nowhere, or weird stuff's happening, like, um, uh, just major, I can't, I can't explain other than out of the blue physical impairments or debilitating. I mean, I know people who are deathly ill right now and just came out just as soon as Hattery hit, they went down. Um, we have a huge, huge, huge amount of stuff going on out there right now in space. I mean, in the universe. Okay. We've got, the sun is doing some crazy stuff. Now I do not profess to be any astrologist, astronomist, you know, or anything, I pick up vibes. There are a few th aspects I know that I am learning, okay? Uh, but one of the major things is we are coming out of the full moon's energy was so powerfully strong, enhanced by Mercury retrograde, and then we had this wave come in. We also have, uh, the sun's doing like a whole ton of uh, solar flares and stuff are going on right now too. And then there's energy waves coming from some other planetary things that are going on. Like I said, I'm not an expert. This is what I feel. And they've all collided. And guess what? We have this big negative energy wave hitting us right now, especially as sensitive people. We are going down. Now, on that note, um, obviously, uh, you know, I'm doing a little better, but I had to work on it for the last two days. I have been down on the couch. I have not had any energy. I just, lethargy is just, and, and being sick. And it's just, it was just, just mind-blowing. Um, how fast to see now that I can look back and go, oh my God, it was like this on Friday. And I was like that on Saturday. Oh my God. And I know I'm not the only one. I know I'm not alone out there. Um, also, um, sorry, there's just so much I want to tell you. Um, I went into meditation today and I had a lot of releasing done today, but after I did that, I'm going to tell you right now, physically, I felt better. Because I was acknowledging certain things were popping up in front of me. And I'm going, oh my God, is that why? Okay, this is a time for releasing. This, I mean, seriously, seriously, major time for releasing. Uh, I mean, releasing. Because uh, no matter, I'm not saying this is the cause of a lot of physical things that are going on. But we all know that when we hold things in, we block stuff that we don't want to confront. We don't want to face. It can and will affect us physically down the line. And I believe that's part of, like for some, that could be a big, big, big problem. So right now is the time for releasing. Meditation is huge. Number two, psychics. We are in the veil right now. Everybody is right in front of us. All your guides, ascended masters, the guard, archangels, everybody. Your power, I mean, they're in our face. Be careful what you're wishing for, especially if you're mad, if you're angry, any negative energy coming out is coming back to you tenfold. I've seen it. I've got slapped in the face and there, I can name you 10 psychics that just said the same thing to me earlier today, going, be careful what you're saying. Uh, because I did notice when I was like happy and I was like, oh, you know, blah, blah, blah. Boom. Within five minutes, I went, gave me the chills. I mean, you know, I'm used to working with these guys all the time, but that was impressive. I was like, holy crap. And then I was, I, as I was talking with people today, we're all getting together. Going, oh my God, we're like in the veil right now. Uh, so we're amplified. <laughs> so be careful what you're asking for. Be very aware of your motivations and intentions when you're asking for things today or if you, your thoughts. Seriously, we are in the zone and they are hearing us and they're listening to us. On that note, grounding, ground, ground, ground. I can, that will help so much. Um, I grabbed my Sardonyx, which is, um, mine's black and, uh, black with white is, uh, I can't tell you the difference. This is, I started carrying it around. I felt more clear. I felt more, okay. 
I'm here now. All right, we're good. You know, and I can hear the information. That's not going to stop. We're going to keep receiving. We're going to just, you can't help it. We are in the veil. It's amplified. We're here. And you're just going to keep receiving stuff. It's just the thing is, at least now with a grounding, one of your ground, hematite, jasper, K2, um, sardonyx, I'm all like this, black tourmaline, you know, any of the earthen grounding stones. I also have dragon stones, septarian. Uh, these are also fantastic uh, for grounding. Also, anything earthy, uh, you know, Jasper. Jasper is excellent, too, and I'm probably skipping a few, and I apologize. I'm just trying to make this video a little shorter than, you know, 10 minutes for you guys because I'm no expert. I'm just sharing what I am getting for this week and trying to help others uh, that, you know, have asked me. <laughs> Basically, you got to get this out there. I'm like, okay, okay. So, anyway. <clears throat> So protection, not only to keep yourself grounded, but to protect yourself psychically. Like I said, it works both ways. You got to remember yin and yang are open. So you guys that know how to work with, uh, you know, the positive and negative balance like I do. And it, ew, they're just open. There's no difference. They're not blocked. It's just flowing like this. So it's that we have to be really careful. So knowing that we're in the veil and getting all this higher power, great stuff, we're also susceptible and we're also in the negative so we're also going to be susceptible to negative entities at this time to big ones the bigger ones so just not everybody's going to be affected like i said but for those of you who are especially if you're mediums and you work on that side all the time you understand exactly what i'm talking about protection and protection protection sardonics that's why i'm wearing that too same thing psychic protection protects it helps protect against psychic attacks drainage Psychic vampires, you know, stuff like that. Um, any of the grounding protective stones, like I said, hematite, uh, jasper. Hold on, I have it here. Um, or I don't. <laughs> Sorry. Um, you know, uh, shungtite, of course, uh, is good for balancing smoky quartz, you know. Um, and there's a whole bunch of other protective stones I'm probably not mentioning, uh, only because I'm trying to kind of speed through this video so you guys know what the rest of the week's going to be like. Like I said, so, big breath. Wednesday, we should start feeling a little, little bit of a difference in that the wave, the wave's going to start losing like its flow here. It's going to lose its power a bit. And then by Friday, I'd say Friday evening, early Saturday morning, it's going to start moving away. I feel like a weather person. Well, we have this negative wave come in, but it looks like it'll be moving out by Wednesday and be completely gone by the weekend. Though we're still going to have the tail end of that wave on the weekend know that it's you're going to feel a lot more clear-headed a lot more okay we got this we can get through this week and we're going to get through this week support your people support your tribe support other psychics support other spiritual people i mean support the healers support us all you know we all need to know that we're not crazy right now <laughs> so um but support um you know uh boost them up you know even if you're feeling down and just craps hitting you you know the one thing that's going to help us get out of this is try to be more positive. And it's hard to do that when we've got all this other crap going on. But when you're helping somebody else, that can make a big shift and difference in your energy. And it's going to make you feel a little better. And that's going to lift your energy so you can get above this negative wave and kind of encapsulate yourself in this. That's the only reason why I'm sitting here doing this video. Because if I had done my meditation and done that very thing, help uh, talking to people all day today... I would be curled up on the couch going, screw the world, I'm hiding. So anyway, on that note, this weekend, look forward to a lighter relax. This weekend, pamper yourself. You're going to deserve it. We deserve it anyway, but I mean, we're really going to really have earned it this weekend. And namaste, many blessings to you. And then for those of you who aren't so psychic and want to know what's going on for the week for you, I have a part two next.